All right, happy Milky Way day. So today I am going to do a 24 hour fast. I'm already 13 hours into it to help reduce the environmental impact of our food production. Uh, so here in the United States, we average, believe it or not, I just recently learned, the average American eats about 4,200 calories a day. Uh, no doubt a lot of it that we, we don't need. Uh, around the world, uh, more people are uh, eating themselves to death than uh, starving to death. And um, I, I, I venture a guess that far more people overeat themselves to death than from the ongoing pandemic. And this is every year for at least the last 40, 50 years. And uh, it's not politically correct to lock down over it, right? Can you imagine if we impose some kind of curfew, right? No eating after a certain amount of time, at least in public, or maybe not barge into people's homes and, and stop people from eating. But in the city park, if you're caught eating after eight o'clock, you know, you could get a ticket, right? Can you imagine how far that kind of bill would go, right? Not gonna go very well, right? But um, it's Milky Way Day, and um, by the way, it's Milky Way Day because our uh, environmental impact now extends to the entire Milky Way, right? So five years ago, we dumped a bunch of plutonium into the atmosphere of Saturn, uh, the decade before that into Jupiter, and right now as I speak, there's five or six containers of plutonium circling the Milky Way. And um, I also think it was a bad idea that we uh, told aliens about where we live, right? Uh, and there's a lot of space debris. Someday we won't be able to go to any other planets anymore because there'd just be so much debris circling our sun. Uh, at least with the more recent probes, um, first of all, no more plutonium. And um, second, we've been uh, getting a little bit better at disposing of it. Also sad is um, all the minerals that uh, we've shot up into space with no idea of how to get them back, right? So uh, when I was a kid, when I was a kid, um, we used to accumulate more and more gold every year. We would use up the other minerals like platinum, iridium, silver, but at least we were accumulating more and more gold, but no more because a lot of it gets shot into outer space these days. So the amount of gold on Earth is shrinking as I speak, not as fast as the other metals. But um, someday we will wish that we hadn't done that. So that's why it's Milky Way Day. But the average American consumes, what was it, 4,200 calories a day. Now I remember last year when we were concerned about whether or not Americans should take a third dose of this pharmaceutical drug, this wonder drug, right? Because, oh my God, a lot of people in the third world don't even have one dose, right? And maybe we shouldn't take that third dose so that everybody could have one dose and maybe that might be a better protection. I remember us talking about it. Now it's four doses, by the way. But I remember thinking to myself, God, that sounds like how we handle food, right? There are people who starve to death. Do we really, really need those extra 50, 60, 70 pounds around our waistline so that other people can starve to death? cause a lot of conflict around the world. It didn't make sense to me. Obviously, it's politics, right? So what was our response to the fact that we eat so much food that the rest of the world starves? Our response was, oh my God, Americans are starving. Let's give people even more coupons to buy this crap, right? And um, just, just really, really funny watching it. So I think last year they increased food stamps by 20%. It was the first increase in multiple decades when Americans were already gaining 19 pounds because we called it COVID-19, right? And oh my God, we're starving, right? When more people are dying of eating themselves to death than of COVID-19 and um, the environmental impact of, that, of all that, right? So today, let's stop doing that for one day. Happy Milky Way Day, everybody.